Hi and welcome to episode number 476 with whatsforchow.com. In today's episode we're going to look at an amazing pizza dough. The industry rule regarding pizza is you need super high temperatures to bake and achieve the beautifully charred bases and well browned edges. The problem is that almost no domestic home has an oven that can reach 350 Celsius or 662 Fahrenheit. This dough will bake superbly at regular domestic oven maximum temperature of 250 Celsius or 482 Fahrenheit. You will get a beautifully crisp charred base and lovely colouring on the edges. To start, dissolve the sugar in the warm water. Pour the granulated brewer's yeast in and stir this briefly to dissolve. Allow this to stand and activate for 10 minutes. Brewer's yeast is available in most food stores in the baking department alongside the baking yeast. After 10 minutes you will see a mass of froth on top of the yeast. Pour in the oil and stir to combine. In your stand mixer bowl add the flour and salt. Try to use double zero flour or all purpose flour. You will get a much better texture from these. Place the bowl on your mixer and pour the wet ingredients into the flour. Fit the dough hook and knead the mixture on medium low speed for 5 to 6 minutes. After this time you will have a beautifully soft dough that is not at all sticky. Remove the bowl from the machine, cover with cling wrap and let the dough rise for 60 to 90 minutes until more than doubled in size. After this rising time, turn the dough out onto a lightly floured work surface and knead it briefly to knock it down. Weigh the dough and divide it into four equal pieces. Each piece will make a 30 cm or 12 inch base. Working with one piece at a time, work the dough into a disc shape, then roll it out to a 30 cm or 12 inch pizza base. Dust the dough lightly with flour if it becomes slightly sticky while rolling. To make up the pizzas, top with your desired toppings and bake in a preheated oven at 250 Celsius or 482 Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes. And there it is, the pizza dough that behaves at home. In the near future I will make a selection of classic pizzas using these same bases. Thanks for joining us today, please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you again tomorrow.